Hello again, everyone. I am back with the next part, which I think is part six at this point. Yes. And ready to go. I've done a lot of item preps, and sadly, Garcia hit the bench. I ran out of deployment slots, and I just kind of felt like uh, Inez would bring a little bit more to the table here. I'm also not bringing Tethys because this chapter is Fog of War, and I just really don't have confidence in myself to keep Tethys alive because I don't remember this map very well. Which is a running theme on this playthrough, which uh, hopefully it's been exciting at least. I am dreading this chapter. And there's a very, like, there's a pretty substantial reason why. Well, there's two. One, I don't know, I don't remember this map. I very briefly glanced at it on a WOD just to, like, get a feel for the layout, but I don't know where the reinforcements spawn. Reason number two, I don't think Larchelle's surviving this. I've got to make my way over to her to get her. And she is extremely underleveled. And, uh... Ah, uh, I want to say that I will be able to save her because she's one of my favorite characters. But I also don't have all that much confidence in myself to be able to do it because I remember the AI being very prone to just kind of running in and dying. Like, it really, like, uh... I don't want to, like, write her off immediately. And I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, she's definitely dying. Haha, <laughs> sorry, Larchelle fans. She's the new Vanessa. But I also... Ooh. Okay. Um, I just remember this chapter being, like, really, really reliant on what her AI decides to do, and her AI can just kind of decide to, uh... She wants to fight today, so that's what she's going to do. Ooh, that's a little bit more than I was hoping for Antana. So I think she dodged, really. Come on, Tana. Speed's nice. I really wish my Tana was getting more strength. That's a uh, that's definitely a big thing. A lot of it also comes down to how well Dazla keeps her safe, because uh, this is... Oh, um, yeah, I'm, so, I'm just, like, so anxious about this chapter. Because, yeah, this group just gets swarmed so fast. And I'm really hoping Larachelle doesn't just kind of decide to uh, aggro some enemies just for funsies. And I'm really wondering, I'm, I'm like, I just did, like, I just uh, specifically didn't do it. But I'm really second guessing already if I should have uh, brought Tethys. My concern was just, uh, like, stuff like this. Oh, does he have a, he has a longbow, what the hell? Um, where I don't remember where the enemies are, and I just don't trust myself to uh, keep Tethys safe. Like, Tethys is too important to the run to risk one chapter into her lifespan on a Fog of War chapter that I don't remember. Like, I just don't really want to do it. So, I felt like, uh, as far as, like, a utility unit goes, I kind of feel like Calm as just functioning as purely a flashlight would, be, would bring a little bit more to the table. And I feel like reinforcements spawn in, like, right from the, from the uh, starting area, if you're too slow, which I probably will be, because that's, like, my mantra. Sonic would have a freaking field day with me, dude. You're too slow! That's, like, yes, Sonic, and I'm sorry about that. I'm really trying not to abuse Seth that much, but I also, uh... I'm at least bringing him forward, because I just don't want to take any risks. I'm definitely going to be uh, spamming Mulder a little bit more. I was kind of looking through my units and, like, seeing who was uh, in good shape as far as uh, levels and who wasn't. And... I'm worried that there's going to be, like, some rando with a longbow, like, right here, who's going to, like, run in and just massacre Tana if I move her there. So... I guess she's going to sit right here for now. But yeah, I was looking through my units, and uh, <laughs> I really think a lot of them are probably way under leveled for the stage of the game, which kind of comes—it kind of comes full circle. See, this is what I'm freaking out about, because uh, like, there's no physical way I could have gotten down there that quickly. But it, like, Larjel's already kind of in danger, and she will die in, if not one hit, two hits. Oh man. 
I don't want to lose Lara Shell. Okay. Seth might be uh, zooming on an error. But yeah, I. Uh, man, I lose, I've been losing my train of thought so easily on this. I actually like I do, I don't tend to watch my uh, recordings back because I really can't stand the sound of my own voice at all. But I was watching it back, and I realized like every four seconds I lose my train of thought and just completely just go on a tangent, which I'm doing right now. Like this this talk about tangents is a tangent from what I was originally talking about, which was my units are under leveled, and I need to be uh, distributing EXP a little bit better than I have been because uh, Seth's doing well, and a lot of other units are way behind. Okay, tank Erica, I'll I'll take that, I guess. I'm going to leave Gilliam there and try to bait that guy so I can two range him with someone. I think is my play. I don't love this. I don't love relying on two seventies, but that's just what's going to happen. So uh, I'm thinking of uh, staff spamming Molder and then early promoting him. This guy's hitting kind of hard. He's kind of fast, too. I'm just going to take that dude. Ugh, man. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is... Well, okay, I guess I'll just... Yeah, this will be fine, I guess. I wanted Garrick to do it, but I'm a little bit concerned. I didn't calc it, but the... Uh, Steel Blade is pretty heavy, and it's going to weigh him down a lot, and so I don't want to risk him getting doubled. So I think that's how we're going to play it, and let's move our flashlight over here so we can see how Lashara and Larchelle is going to get massacred. I'm very upset, like I'm preemptively upset about the fact that I suspect that Larchelle is not surviving this uh, chapter. Because I like her quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to use another Torch Staff, which is kind of a uh, part of my Staff Spam with Molar and Get Him Promoted strategy. She looks fine, but I don't know what's lurking in this fog. Inez needs to start moving like, really quickly. I'm not really happy with that Ross placement either. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, Reinforcements start spawning in like near the uh, near the starting position, but I don't know when. Nice, get that weapon rank. Good. See, it all worked out. I'm like 80% sure that uh, Garrick would have gotten doubled, and I couldn't heal him from that particular range. So, okay, well, there are those reinforcements that I was just. Uh writing about, so I guess that answers that question. Take care of this longbow dude. That would be nice just to get it rid of him. Okay. On one hand, I kind of feel like this is going alright. Okay, nice, like, 2% crit. If you ever wonder why I uh, just get so concerned about crits on this, stuff like that is why. Like, you're just gonna run into random low percent crits, and, uh, it's not fun when they're on your units and they kill your units, like in an Iron Man setting. Or otherwise. Okay, so that gave two to Garrick, so I guess I was just really concerned over nothing, because two times two is four, so. I can do math! I'm so proud of myself. It's the most math I've done in years. I'm gonna tr Ooh. I don't like the eyeballs. Um, yeah, I lost my vision. That's not good. Uh, I know the eyeballs aren't like that threatening for the most part, but they do hit res, if I recall correctly. And on that level, I'm not a fan of it because just a lot of a lot of units just have really low res, and having them deal with that is not a fun time. I'm doing my best to fight every impulse which says, this is the fog map, turtle it and hide, and this is scary. 
because um, I want to get Lara Shell very badly. Like, that is one of my key goals here. Oh man, more reinforcements. Okay, let's. I'm gonna damage check how they do against Ross. Okay, they don't do much to Ross. Um, Ross might just enemy phase here. I kind of want to uh, power level Ross a little bit too. Okay, I'm going to move Calm first. Just kidding. I'm not going to move Calm. I want to get uh, more vision. Okay, I'm going to have to use another Torch Staff, I guess. I don't actually remember what, the, uh, how much this actually reveals, so I hope it's not like two tiles. Nice weapon rank. Okay, that's that's pretty good then. Um, so if I can take out the balls, as I'm now dubbing them, then uh, this is not that bad of a situation, I think. And he, they only hit for eight. Like. How much do uh, Scallop Rose do? Nine? Not in love with that? That's cutting it a little bit closer than I would like. As far as uh, like if, if all of them go for Ford. Okay. I really wish that I could get a like Garrick and Gilliam and all those lovely people into the action, but they uh, don't have cab mobility, which is kind of a hindrance right now, whenever I'm rushing to try to get large shells as quickly as I can. I think I'm going to give one of these to Seth, as much as I continue to say that I shouldn't be using Seth as much as I am, and then do so anyway. And, um... Okay. This should be fine, I think. I'm trying to think of what's the worst case scenario, and that I'm assuming that this guy also does roughly the same amount of damage as the other one, which was nine. I didn't even check what the weapons were. So the worst case scenario is Ford doesn't kill here through a really unlucky miss, gets hit twice for the eight. So that would be 16 plus 9 is 25, and I don't think, unless there's an enemy lurking just right outside of where, I, uh, like, my visibility range, like, right here or something, he shouldn't be able to get hit again, and I really hope that's not, like, just statements made immediately before disaster, and, um, how does Josh do against these, actually? I wish my Joshua had, like, two more points in strength or something than he does. Okay, I'm going to enemy phase with Joshua a little bit, and I, that's not a, a statement that I love making, but I think I'm going to try it. Yeah, I actually asked a lot of people for feedback, because, you know, I, I don't know how well I'm doing. I, do, I genuinely don't. Like, I'm very new to all of this. Okay, yeah, that didn't do much at all. Nice. Um... Okay, so there was an enemy lurking, but like not like okay, whatever, that's fine, I guess. But yeah, I asked a lot of people for feedback, and one of the things that uh, somebody said was I repeat myself too much, and I'm like, man, I'm trying not to, but like when I'm trying to like keep a flow for the uh, just the conversation of the video, just talking to myself strictly, and I'm um, trying to not make. 10,000 mistakes, which I do anyway, I often just end up just completely like losing my train of thought like four times per minute or something. Like I'm just uh, trying to calc damage and then trying to uh, maneuver my units and then trying to just talk at the same time. Like I have so much more respect for anybody who does this now, like after uh, trying this for myself because it is significantly harder than I was anticipating. Like, I was thinking, oh, you know, I'll just talk about whatever and play Fire Emblem. That'll be easy. And then I'm like, as I'm doing it, I'm like, my brain is physically melting out of my head as I'm doing this. <sighs> I'm trying to think if I want to leave Seth here for a turn, because at this point, the biggest risks to Lara Shell are if there are enemies in this vicinity or if there are a few hidden right here. 
And I don't know. Because, uh, I'm not in love with this situation, especially with, uh, Erica being in range of a few things. And I got a chest key. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna send the Voln for now. I should've sent the one-use Iron Sword, but whatever. I, whatever, it doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, I think that's a good spot to block for Erica. I'm mildly concerned about Ford if there are more enemies in the fog, but I think I'm kinda okay with how this is going. Ish. <laughs> Dude, you get doubled by Gilly. I'm like, what, what is your problem, monster? You need to fix yourself. Okay, you run down here. Anna's is here for range, and as Miss Erica would say in uh, Heroes, what range? And then she dies because Mage Erica is great. She's not that bad, I guess. Poster fine. Okay, I really wish I had vision on those last few tiles, but I feel kinda okay with how this is going. Like. I, re I remember this chapter, but I don't remember like a lot of what happens on it, so uh, I've been very concerned about this, and uh, there's a there's a defend map where you get Cormag coming up that I'm like extremely worried about, but you know, that's... cross that bridge when you come to it, you know. But yeah, this chapter and that chapter were like... Oh, okay, so Ford does get doubled. This is no, these little dudes are fast, and Ford's not that slow. Like, he's not the fastest thing ever, but he's not, like, actively slow or anything. Okay. I think I'm going to... Man, I wish I had, like, one more movement range on Garrick. It would be very nice right now. Chance Erica doubles, maybe? I thought Erica can kill. Well, she could if she uh, doubled, but she doesn't. These dudes are really fast. Like, let's. I feel like the enemy quality here is quite varied. Like, uh, these dudes are scary, and then there are those chump monsters up top who are just doing nothing. Okay. I'm not in love with how Ford is doing here. I kind of want to... Okay, I'm pretty confident that there are reinforcements coming from here, or, like, at least this side in general. So I'm not in love with the idea of leaving Seth? Separating Seth from the group? Oh, man, I really wanted to hit that. Um, I think I'm going to move Seth here for now, just to scout it out. And maybe rescue Lars if I can. That would be nice, because I think Dazla can take care of himself. Okay, so it was the yeah, it was the we like the weapon weight more than anything. Um, yeah, you'll be fine. Okay, good. I'm kind of aiming for like one or two more levels on Ford, and then uh, a promotion, ideally. Assuming they all do the same, Josh should be fine. I don't know if I should burn, uh, burn another Torch Staff use. Partially because... Okay, that's a really good Josh level up. Nice. I'll be really sad if he dies after that. Okay, I'm actually going to move Gilliam here. Like, I just, like, now rethought that. And the reason being is because I think my Gilliam is falling slightly behind. Not, like, super behind. I'm not that worried about him, but, uh... Let's move Calm here. Not opening that door. Um, I'm gonna move Garrick here in anticipation of the reinforcements that may or may not be coming. Like, I looked at the layout, but I didn't actually look at the reinforcement patterns, which maybe I should have. Gilliam was just killing these low-chance crits. Nice. That is a good... Anything with strength and defense is nice for Gilliam, because that's like... Those are his stats. Anything past that, you're just really hoping for too much, because he's a terrible unit, but I love him regardless, and... Oh, you open the door! Ah! Okay. Oh, man. Oh. Shit. Oh, my God. Okay. And there are those reinforcements. Um, okay, this went just... Oh. Okay. 
what the hell do I do now is my uh, my new question of the moment because this is not pretty. This is, in fact, the antithesis of pretty. This is, uh, this is, this is something, huh? Okay, damn. I didn't expect the skeleton to just be like, ha, ah, and now I'm gonna open the door. Ha 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 ha. That dude. That was that was a malicious door opening, is what that was. Like that okay. Priority one. I'm going to get to reunite these groups. Because uh the top the top group is not particularly threatening right now. Um I feel like I'm going to need a little bit more combat strength than I have, like, down here. Priority two. <laughs> Panic? <laughs> I guess... I guess that's my uh, game plan. I've got to block this off, because they're going to charge Lara Shell, like, way too hard if I let them. It... Okay. I really wish that... It... This, this probably sounds weird, but I really wish that Ford didn't have that crit chance. Because otherwise, uh, he'd be pretty reliable in terms of um, just walling that off. Kind of worried about this dude. I don't. He's got a little bit higher strength, and he's got a Steel Lance. I feel like Seth should be fine, but there is always the uh, concern of suffering from success. I guess I'll take this dude out, because Seth's gonna do it anyway, and he's gonna take damage on the process, so I think that's probably my better play. Actually, I'm gonna move Calm down, which I should have done a little while ago. Okay, good. That's the end of that little mess. So I've gotta remember there's reinforcements coming from right there, and I'm going to weaken a little bit with Hana. So that should give Erica the kill, and then Erica's gonna have to, like, run for her life. I'm not loving this. Yeah, this is why I was really anxious about this chapter, because, like, I just don't remember, like, all the little intricacies of it. And stuff like the monster deciding that he's going to open the door. That was, that was a fun little surprise. By the way, did, uh, did you notice... Okay, I'm, like, not scared for Seth, but, like, concerned. And being concerned for Seth is not an emotion that I like feeling, because, uh, he's my, he's my safety unit. He makes me feel safe. They are... Are they going for the kill? Like, do, do they have lethal on him? Is he lethal? Like, it's Hearthstone or something? Ooh, my god. Okay. <sighs> Please don't be a two-ranged monster running around. Ha <laughs> ha We're fine. Thank you, Larissa. Come on, Dazla. Come this way, sweetie. Please, 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 please. This way. Here, girl. Come on, Dazla. Come on. I have treats. Nah, Dazla will be fine. <laughs> okay, um... Let's let Ross get some EXP. I like this little conga line of just kind of soft grinding as I move back. It's kind of rad, I'm not gonna lie. Um, really wish Erica had one more movement range. I guess the plus side is, this dude is really strong. Like, he legitimately posed a threat to Seth. So, uh, if I can give him to somebody, that's pretty rad EXP, I think. But yeah, as I was saying before everything went wrong yet again, um, did you notice that Ardor is no longer a spider? Very, very sad about that. I was, I'm actually really considered leaving it after the fact because it was really, really funny. Like, uh, I, I probably shouldn't laugh at my own, like it stemmed from my own goofy mistake. And uh, I, I just like looked at it several times and I laughed. And I think I'm going to end up putting the spider in the thumbnail. Like the next part isn't up yet as of, as great, love that. As of now, the next part is not recorded, or not uh, uploaded yet, but when it is, um... Shit, I, I don't like the idea of three guys coming for Eric. But uh, when the next part is uploaded, I think I, I'm going to include the spider in some capacity, because it's amazing. Nice. 
Molder may unironically be one of my best bets for magic users at this point. With how this run's going and magic users is not surviving, that just might be what we're doing. <sighs> no. I, okay, I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna enemy phase with Innis. Because like he can't count, he can't fight back. But uh, that also means that he's a he can he's a pre promote. If he can't take this, then he kind of deserves to die. He should be able to uh, take a hit or two and then leave some exp open for Tana. I'm really trying to be more conscious about that because that's something that I've just been kind of like a lot of my play this run has been kind of semi autopiloted. I guess is the best way to put it. Like I've been really just kind of talking more than I have been thinking, which. Probably shows by my graveyard, which no longer features Artist Booker. Okay, I'm I didn't remember if there was an Archer or not, but I'm really glad that I didn't put Tana there. Because I was okay. Okay, that was that was that was a little concerning. That's very concerning. Come on, Dazla, crush one of these dudes. Nice. Okay. Oh Larshell. We love Larshell. How can you not, like, I, I objectively don't see how you don't like Lara Shell as a character. She's a terrible unit, but she's so funny, like, in the story. I just, I, I can't imagine being a person who doesn't love Lara Shell. Like, that just seems like a miserable existence to me. And I hope I didn't just kill Ford, but I might have. Okay. So I'm going to use the Handy Dandy Torch Staff again to... Reveal whether or not uh, Ford is dead. He's fine. See, all that worrying over nothing. You guys were all worried, and by you guys, I mean me. I don't know why I'm suddenly... Is that even the third person anymore? It's like the fourth person, and I'm talking for like several people who aren't myself, but like whatever, I guess. Yes! You, Lara Shell, join. That's a good talk conversation. Um, mildly concerned that there might be something like hit, hiding right there that I don't know about, so, okay. I love that she doesn't even start with a heal. She starts with a men, so I mean, I guess it's more EXP or something. It's a plus. Starting as a level three healer at this stage of the game is really not a fun time, though. Okay, I feel like I'm slowly stabilizing, unless there's just like, a, I'm just about to get like blown up by more reinforcements. I guess I should have used the Slim Lance there, but whatever, it is what it is at this point. Okay, um, let's keep the EXP conga line rolling. <sighs> I don't know where I want Seth. I'm gonna leave him here in case there's another wave. I need to go back and actually get Dazzle too. Like I'm not. Uh, it would be. It would be a pretty big surprise if Dazzle managed to get himself killed because he's <laughs> that, this Ross. Like he's a, he hits like a mock truck, and it's kind of rad. Okay, great. Okay. Can I get Dazzle this turn? No, I cannot get Dazzle this turn. I really wish Dazzle were like right here or something. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna bring Dazla to me instead of uh, waiting for him to do his thing. He's a heavy boy, apparently. Um, okay. Seth can't even take him? Okay, whatever, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put Inez here, just in case something has more range than I was expecting or something. I am loving this little EXP conga line. This has been very productive on that front. But I'm worried that one of these enemies is going to be randomly like stronger than the rest. So I'm going to move down a little bit. That should be alright. And I'll let Josh get in on this again. And Garrick. And this will be a this will be a fun little surprise. Who will the enemies decide to go for? I don't know. Let's move Calm back up for the time being. Because I would really like vision on this in case there are more reinforcements. And Erica, I guess I'm just going to kind of hole up in this room for the time being and see how the reinforcements go and stuff. 
which sounds like just riveting gameplay. This is definitely probably going to be a uh, one uh, one chapter episode, which I was trying to avoid, but you know, when it comes down to it, like the last one went way longer than I was hoping. Like, ah, who can? St I guess one of the monsters has a chest key or something. Whatever, I guess. Okay. I feel like this is this is like coming together. Like the recruitments are out of the way, and um, I'm not. I haven't lost anybody, so you know that's like two good things. At this point, two good things is like two more than I would have hoped for after everything that's gone wrong in the past few episodes. Is that the last dude? Uh... I think I can give this to Tana, I guess. Because I feel like uh, she's not falling behind in so much that she just starts so underleveled to begin with that uh, she's like always behind. Okay, next question. Can I actually accomplish that? Because... Okay, apparently everybody can one around this guy <laughs> except for Tana, which really speaks for how useful Tana is. Okay. Thank you, Erica. You finally found your niche as a lord. You were officially the weakener lord. I don't love the idea of putting anybody there in case there's like randomly an archer skeleton. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like play it probably way safer than I even should be considering and jab, and then I'm going to rescue just in case, because I feel like I'm in a good spot and I don't really want to jeopardize that by just taking arbitrary risks with this Fog of War. Because we saw what happened whenever I take arbitrary risks with Fog of War. And that would be uh, Loot and Franz dying. I miss them. Especially Loot. I'm very upset about that. Cool. You know, I should be sad about in his being poisoned, but I also kind of see a lot of a large shell staffy XP. So that's what we're gonna do. I need to trade her a. Um, okay. I need to trade her a uh, heal staff though, because it's really not that efficient to use a man other than the one extra EXP per use. Well, there's basically a heal staff shop at this point anyway. There's probably going to be quite a bit of just arbitrary healing just for the sake of. Oh, okay, I need to get this chest before I forget. Secret book! Who's going to want the secret book? I'm trying to think of like who's having accuracy issues. Maybe Ross? I, I, I think Ross got my last one, but on the other hand, like my Ross is just doing very well. I'm really happy with this Ross. Okay, apparently they're deciding to take the fight to me, which... No, don't heal. That's less staff EXP. Monster. I'd like to continue to level Erica and Tana in particular. I think a, like 13 to 14 is around the range that I would like most of my combat units at right now. And those two are not there. Calm is at this point just purely utility, and he's probably getting replaced by Renok as early as whenever the hell I get Renok on this route. I don't. You know what? You know when I get Renok on this route, I remember it's that awful like pseudo desert thing where you have to chase him down. I recall that. And I recall that being very obnoxious too. Oh, I was like, what? Did he just like legitimately just vanish? Like, okay, I'm gonna torch here to get vision back on that to check ranges and stuff, and just in case there's anybody who's lurking like right around there. Okay. Let me just say, Fog of War route maps are just a dick move. Like, I'm sorry. I don't like that that just conceptually, because you have to really hunt around for like anything that could be lurking. And uh, it's like, can I just know where my foes are? That actually, it reminds me a lot of um, the uh, Lenato map on Three Houses, which I played on Maddening like not super long ago, and I missed an enemy that was uh, hiding in a bush. 
And I got like two Lenato, and it's like none of the scripted events were happening or anything. And it's just like, where is this asshole at? Like, what? 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 Yeah, it it ended up taking me like an hour to find this enemy that I just arbitrarily missed in the mist. Get it, missed in the mist. <laughs> I'm going to say something just absolutely terrible now, and if anybody wants to stop watching after I say this, I don't blame you. But what I'm going to say is if you're playing Path of Radiance and you're on a Fog of War chapter with Mist and she doesn't hit, you could officially say Mist, Mist in the Mist. And I apologize for making that statement. Anyway, let's just keep on rolling. This next level up might be Ford's last before he promotes. I kind of feel like 16 is a pretty good spot, and he's weirdly starting to fall off. Like, I, my Ford's been doing well, but I feel like he hasn't been do contributing as much as I want in this chapter. I love how I was worried about reinfor more reinforcements from right there, and now I'm just like sticking Boulder there, like, okay. No worries there, I guess. Okay, this chapter's going well. I, I'm pretty okay with how this is going as a whole. Like, I had a few little... just minor scares. Especially with Seth almost dying. That, ooh, that really, really scared me. But, uh, all things considered, I feel like this is going okay. I, Larshell's not dead, and that's, like, more than I had ever hoped for this map. This is 37 minutes for one map. That's the unfortunate part about late game FE. The maps start getting quite long. I really hope that I didn't just kill Ford. Every time I move forward slightly, I'm worried that there's gonna be like eight enemies right off screen that just all just jump somebody and then that's it. Yeah, I'm I'm staff spamming a lot. My healers in particular are I'm really concerned about how they're doing as far as EXP. Because uh, Lara Shell starts very underleveled, and Mulder is just not at the point where I would really ideally like him to be at this point in the game. So I'm kind of going into a heal any injury mode just for the staff EXP. And Mulder might end up promoting at like level 10 or 11 or something like that. I don't know yet. Because he's level 9 now, and. It would be nice to have another, like, magic user, and I feel like another implies that there are any on my ma on my uh, little dying army. But um, it would be nice to have one, and it'd be nice if he was just in fighting shape in general. Dun, 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 dun. I like this song, as it really sells the whole... Uh, creepy atmosphere of this map. Let's find out what's behind door number three. Yeah, I'm uh, really not conserving my torch staves that all, all that well. And the primary reason for that, uh, I hate when they have the same range. And it's like, if you bait one, you've got to bait both. But I, I don't know if Ford would actually be able to kill. I really wish I got that Amelia Speedwing for him. His speed's kind of becoming an issue, but these those dudes are slow, so whatever. But yeah, I like I was saying for the nine millionth time, which is like my running trend in this game at this point, I'm just losing my train of thought over anything. Um, I feel like there aren't just aren't that many more Fog of War maps. I'm I'm really thinking about it, and I can think of like one. I think I think it's just the uh, Ralston map against Reeve later. I really think that's the last one. Maybe I'm just forgetting something in there. And, like, I'm not going to need a hundred torch staff uses for that. Actually, okay, you know what? I take that back. I might need a hundred torch staff uses. That chapter is a 
miserable, miserable, miserable experience. I hate that map. Oh man, they are just all just running. Okay, whatever. Okay. This is alright. I feel like this is an okay spot to be in. Um, let's take this guy out, and then I will uh, heal Ford up. Oh, wow, that is a lot of EXP. Nice! Really wish you got a uh, speed level up forward. That Amelia, like I said, that Amelia Speedwing would be very handy right about now. But I don't have it because Amelia decided that she was right next to me, and that's as close as she wants to get. To be fair, let me let me uh, stand up for Amelia for a second. If I got right next to Seth, that would be as far as I go too. I would take one look at Seth. I'd be like, nope, nope, I'm out. This is done. <laughs> like I can't. As much as I hate the fact that Amelia ran away on that map, I also... I, I get it. I get it, lady. You, you preserved your own life. Even a weaponless Seth could probably take that Amelia, honestly. Sorry, Amelia fans. Sorry, Garb. Okay. Um, make sure nothing's coming from below. I feel like this is fine. Yeah, that last level up was going to be Ford's last, but then he got like a million EXP for that, so I'm like, eh. Ooh. This is not the prettiest situation to be in right now. Okay, so I think... What's my torch staff range? I really wish it was like slightly higher than that. I feel like I'm at the final hurdle for this map, because I believe the boss is somewhere around here. But I don't want to stumble over said hurdle. I'm going to back off a little bit. I don't love doing that, especially when this is already... This has been 42 minutes for one chapter, which... Way more than I was hoping. I think it's just going to kind of have to... Like, I'm just going to have to accept it. Like, the chapters are getting quite long at this point. But yeah, I don't overly want to back off and run away at this point, but I feel like that's just my best bet, because I don't know what's in the fog, and I... I c could get a little bit of vision with the torch, but I like not enough to be like super, super safe about it. So, I'm gonna Gilliam bait, just to get a little bit of free damage. Um, I can't imagine he'll double, so I'm gonna burn that last Steel Lance use, just to get it out of my inventory. Continue spamming heals. I that might this might be like a huge mistake because I am actually running somewhat low on money. Like I uh, I sold the white gem uh, off camera and bought a few, a few more things, but I'm still concerned about money. With like I've missed a lot of loot, and I have missed loot because she's dead. <laughs> I'm just not. I I don't know why I'm making so many puns. I don't know if it's just nerves or if I'm just like in a weird mood today. But like apparently it's just a very punny day. Yeah, I missed a lot of treasure, and um, I'm a little bit concerned about my money situation, and I might just be kind of fretting over nothing, but this might be Ford's last level up. Yes! Speed! That is exactly what I was hoping for. Nice. Yeah, I just want to get rid of that archer. Remove the threat to Tana. This is another one of the. Does this guy give like a like a lot of BXP too? Because that would be really rad. Uh, do you have a jab or something? No, you don't. Um, trying to think about what I want to do. Uh, yield take drop. Always fun. I really, I I really uh, don't like that. That's not like a standard FE feature. Because uh, take drop is just like a really fun mechanic. It really uh, gives you a lot of options as far as positioning. And uh, I will abuse that to no end because I love take drop. Rescue in general is just a really good FE mechanic. Like I think every FE should have some form of a rescue. And maybe that's just me being a scrub because I can uh, like position my units more freely, but I, it's just it's so handy to have. And let's get the torch staff. Calm is valuable on this map. He is my flashlight, and I I appreciate that. Okay. 
how slow do you have to be for Gilliam to W? Like, that's really, really sad for that poor little monster. Oh, I hate that. I hate 99 EXP. It's just so annoying. Okay. I think we're going to promote forward. I think that is just my best play. Um, I... As much as I kind of want to just keep going with him, I feel like 17 is a good spot. He... I actually didn't think about what I want to do. Okay, so what's the comparison, I guess? Um, man, I don't remember like Sacred Stone's class comparisons at all. Uh, axes would be nice, but I also do have Ross, and I guess Garcia, more deployments left to open up. If I recall correctly, Great Knight gets a little bit more as far as like strength and defense on promotion, but Paladin gets uh, more speed, and I think they get more movement. And I'm sure somebody who actually knows this game better than I do isn't just like sitting here watching it like, that's not right. I'm gonna go Great Knight, and this is probably a really big mistake. I don't remember which one is objectively better. Like, I even looking at comments, I saw a bunch of just arguments for one or the other. But I'm just gonna go with class variety, and that's probably just a really scrubby thing to do. But I like having just a bunch of different classes, and I feel like I've got Seth covered as far as Paladins go, and like, I immediately regretted it. Like, I already regret doing that, but you know, it's, it's over now, so whatever. I love branched promotions in this game, but I also don't love the fact that they make me choose, because I have like, always like, but I want both. I want my cake to eat. I want to eat it too. I need... I, I really need to decide, I guess. Actually, I think, um... I mean, it's too, it doesn't matter now, it's too late. I think, uh, doesn't Great Knight actually, uh... Take effect of, like, it's effective damage from armor slayers and stuff, so it's probably... Yeah, the more I think about it, I think Paladin was the better call, but whatever. Like, I... I just kind of froze and panicked. It is what it is. The decision has been made, I can't change it, so whatever, I guess there's no point in writing about it. I'm, I'm just kicking myself for it, like, already. I'm just like, yeah, I screwed up. I, I'm, like, it's all just kind of flooding back to me now that Paladin's the better class, but, you know... Because, like, whenever I was making the decision, like, all of two minutes ago, I was like, oh, two movement, that's not that much, is it? And then now I'm like, what am I talking about? Two movement's a lot. Like, that's that's a significant amount of movement. Like, I think it's two. Somebody on Reddit said it was two, and I guess I shouldn't be relying on Reddit for my decision. Six, eight, yeah, it's two. Yeah... I regret that. Whatever. It's it's done, I guess. I hope I remember to edit all of that out, because that was miserable. I just sat there going back and forth for like three or four minutes at least, and um, then I made the decision and immediately regretted it, as I am prone to doing, apparently. Let's finish this map! I guess... okay, victory music, nice. The boss has to be there, like there's just nowhere else on the map to go. I need to be thinking about other promotions soon, too, because like, a lot of my characters are getting quite close at this point. Are there any other small little injuries to heal up? Oh, Mulder, you are really wounded, buddy. Let's get you all patched up. Yeah, I don't... it might be just... A total mistake to be trying to use Lara Shell, but I really like Lara Shell. So I'm gonna try it. I don't want to move too much. I don't know if this boss moves or not. Okay, this has to be the tile that the boss is on. There's just no other possibilities. I think. I I don't know. Maybe I'm just totally wrong. I was I just made a very, very uninformed uh, promotion decision. So whatever, I guess. Six movement isn't... Man, that's one higher than Mulder. That is... Okay, yeah, that's... I definitely made a mistake. I was like, he's a cav either way. He'll be fine. 
okay, there's the boss. Oh, that's kind of spooky. Well, the victory music's playing, so I'm assuming that the boss is the last enemy on the map. Okay. I think I need to get Dazzle out of there. Um... I will say this, if Gilliam got double crit, out of curiosity, did he have... He did have crit chance. So that that actually could have gone very poorly. Um, yeah, if Gilliam gets a double crit with a 2% chance on each, that I'm going to be just furious. <laughs> like, that's really just annoying. Aww. Rip heal staff. I'm probably going to regret using all these heal uses in, like, a chapter or two, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'm trying to think about who I want to give this boss kill to, and it's probably going to end up being Seth again, because that's just how this run is going. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, leave Seth and Ford here for now. And the only way Gilliam dies is if he gets crit twice on a 2% chance each. And if that happens, like, what the hell ever. I guess it was just fate at that point. I guess it doesn't really matter. There's, there's like, no physical way that there's another enemy around here. Like, I've covered all of the tiles at this point. I wish Eric could get the, box, the bossy XP. I kind of want her to be a level or two higher than she is, but it is what it is. Okay, guys, don't die. Okay, Gilliam's fine. Ha! Dodging Gilliam. Eh. Gilliam's probably... You know what's funny? I was just like... One of... I, I mentioned it just like a moment ago that class variety was my main deciding factor, but then I, it hit me like right afterwards that Gilliam might end up as a great knight anyway, so it's like, this was just really, really dumb on my part, and I, whatever, it's, it's, it's over now, I need to stop mulling over it, I guess. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Garrick enemy phase this boss, I want Garrick to promote soon too. And there's not really a particular reason for that other than that, that I like him and I like having more promoted units, but that's that seems like good enough rationale to me. This has been almost an hour for one episode. Granted, I'll probably edit a few minutes out whenever I take out that awful decision paralysis thing, which may it never see the light of day. It was really bad. I just seriously was just going back and forth for several minutes and checking Reddit on my phone, which always is a sign of a professional video maker when they're checking Reddit mid-video to figure out what they want to do. I'm sure my lack of professionalism is, like, exceedingly apparent at this point in this whole mess. Okay, I'm gonna heal, and then I'm just gonna go for the Steel Blade, I guess, and see if I can just finish this, because this map is going on way too long. Nobody died! That's a plus! Other than Ford's hopes of moving around anywhere, I guess. Good level up, good level up, good level up. Come on, come on. No whammies. I'll take it. Speed would have been nice, but that's pretty good. Cool. Uh, rotate my saves. Awesome. Village of Silence. Do I not get to go back to the map for this? Oh my god, do I get Sally on this chapter? I don't remember this being a map. Like, I genuinely don't remember this at all. Yes, I do! Ah, that's so good! I, I have to, like, keep him alive. There's just no... There's no alternative there. Uh, he's... He's a really solid pre-promote magic user, and with how this run's going with magic users, he has to stay alive. But that's a problem for later, I guess. Uh, I will end it here. I really wish I could have gotten an, at least an episode and a half in, but it, or a chapter and a half in, but it just wasn't happening. Like, it's 57 minutes. I'm not starting this. This was fun. I think this went pretty well, other than my awful promotion decisions. But that's okay. We'll, we'll survive. And I'm having so much fun. 
I don't really have any specific things to say in the outro this time, but I'm having fun and I will look forward to the Ardor episodes being uploaded because that was probably my favorite episode to record thus far. Even though it involved two deaths, it was a really funny episode with uh, just Ardor, the spider whole thing, me talking about hot effy daddies, etc. It's It was a fun episode to record, so I'm really looking forward to uploading that in a day or two. And granted, it'll be like a week old by the time this goes live, but whatever, that's fine. So this is fun. I'm having a fun time. I am so happy with how, all the views. Thank you again for anybody who's watched this far. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.